Hi, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and I'm delighted to be looking through Bake With You Today by Lorraine Pascal. And I flipped through this really quickly on Instagram for one of her reels, and what I saw was amazing! So I'm really excited to see her 125 show-stopping recipes made simple. And I do like baking, but I take a lot of shortcuts. Uh, this book is from 2018, I believe. Ooh, starting off gorgeously. <gasps> Beautiful. I think we're in for a treat. She starts off, of course, with an introduction and a note about equipment, and then moves into cookies and biscuits, brownies and tray bakes. I don't know what a tray bake is. Cupcakes, muffins and mini cakes, breads, pies and tarts, cakes, desserts and patisserie, specialist bakes, celebration, and then at the end goes into the basics. Maybe those should be at the front. I don't know. I don't know. I don't write cookbooks. Here's the author. We love seeing more cookbooks by black authors and people of color. So here's one. Yay. And she's cutting up some cute little rolls or something. Ooh. The book starts off with chocolate and vanilla stars. Those are super cute. And talking, oh, almond and apricot thumbprint cookies. Those are good for holidays. I don't consider biscotti worth my time to bake or chew. It hurts my teeth, but that, you know, maybe I should dunk it longer in my tea. Cranberry star anise and chocolate florentines. Those look fun to make. I can't show you the whole book, so let me skip ahead a little to the next section. But look at this awesome photo. Linzer cookies with a little heart. Thyme and Parmesan oat cakes. Ooh, a healthy snack. Okay. Brownies and tray bakes. Okay, now I get to find out what a tray bake is. Oh, something like lemon bars, probably. Lamingtons? Very British. I wonder if she is. When I look through these cookbooks with you, it's usually the first time I've looking through two. I don't research it ahead of time because that would ruin the surprise. Rich espresso and walnut tray bake. Okay, now I know what a tray bake is. Nice. Now she's in the cupcakes, muffins, and mini cakes chapter. And I, for one, am kind of glad that the cupcake craze of the early 2000s is kind of over. It was getting a little crazy. Red velvet cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. I mean, it was just cupcakes everywhere. But I still love them and eat them and make them. But for a while, I got kind of, whew. Peanut butter and strawberry finance, finance, dang it, financiers? I was trying to make that word fancier than it was. English buttermilk wholemeal spelt muffins. That sounds healthy. Mm -mm. No, I'm here for the sugar. Breads. Yay, I love making bread. Sweet, rich fanned hams with cinnamon ginger topping. Okay, was she on the Great British Baking Show? And I don't know it. Maybe. Cinnamon and hazelnut squirrel rye bread. This seems like the kind of stuff they made. Ooh, fig and rosemary rye soda bread. That sounds amazing, especially with my tea in the morning. <gasps> Jalapeno and pea cornbread. Good way to add some protein, right? A fruit galette. Okay, you don't need to see that. Ooh, a meringue. I'm not good at making those. Look at that beautiful piping. Lemon Linzer lattice tart. I would make that tomorrow morning if I wasn't working. <gasps> That's incredible. That's beautiful. Love the photographs. Okay, here's a cute little berry meringue and honeycomb lemon tart. And by the way, she is British because the measurements are in grams. Okay, I wonder if there's, well, we all know how to Google to look up the equivalents. Chocolate meringue mousse tart with sable pastry. That sounds so good. I'm getting hungry. Ooh, a leek thyme and courgette tart with sesame and spelt pastry. I would just use regular pastry. I don't like spelt, but I love zucchini and that's a good way to use it up when you make too much. Okay, here comes the cakes. If I recall correctly from my little cookbook flip through, these looked really good. A sticky Jamaican ginger cake. Courgette and lemon drizzle loaf with pistachio. I guess courgette is the word for zucchini over there. Oh, matcha lime and vanilla marble cake. Have you ever attempted a marble cake? I have not. I'd like to. Lemon Victoria sponge with vanilla buttercream and lemon curd. That answers all my questions. About where she's from. A cranberry upside down cake with lemon and ginger. She really is into ginger. I am personally allergic to it. So I just wouldn't use that particular recipe. Here's the rainbow roulade with lime cream cheese chantilly. That is spectacular. If I went to a party 
and someone served that at their house, I would be totally blown away. Desserts and patisserie. I thought these all were desserts and patisserie. Oh no, it's getting fancy. Chocolate coffee and hazelnut petit gâteau with red mirror glaze. I have never attempted a mirror glaze. I am terrified of it. Really good looking stuff in here. Look at this beautiful oh, pistachio pavlova wreath with raspberries, lychees, and lime. That would taste so fresh. That would be such a beautiful December dessert. Lemon and thyme macaroons. Ooh, I see some pretty things. I can't show you them all because you have to get your own copy of the book, but whoop, peek a boo. And specialist bakes. I don't even know what to look for. Gluten free chocolate orange polenta cupcakes. Okay. A gorgeous gluten free clementine and almond cake with pomegranates. That is stunning. Is that on the cover? Maybe. That is stunning. Really cool stuff. Gluten free boiled orange and lemon cake with honey. I love that she has these alternatives. Nice. Okay, moving on, moving on. Layer cakes. Mm hmm. Beautiful layer cakes with fresh fruit. She uses a lot of fruit. What? Lavender ombre cake with petal icing. Okay, I can't even show you the rest because you need to have some surprises. This is amazing. I have to own this. It's from my library. So I have to take it back and buy my own copy. Probably at Barnes & Noble because Amazon is getting enough of my money right now. Thanks for watching this cookbook look through or baking book look through. If you'd like to see more, you can find us at our website, Cookbook Divas. We're also on YouTube, Pinterest, not Twitter, Facebook. Who am I forgetting? Instagram. <laughs> Thanks for watching.